three. Women's singles class six is uh, the next action on table two. And it's uh, in group B. As you can see there, Litvov, Litovchenko leads the way from the Ukraine. Who has one match win and one match loss, which means she's on three points. You get two points for a win, one point for just uh, competing. So she's looking good to qualify through to the knockout phases. Players also looking good is uh, Stephanie Grieb. She uh, defeated Litvochenkov by three games to one. And so another win would take her through as the group winner in Group B. But she's up against uh, Katarzyna Marcel of Poland, who lost her first match by three games to love to Litvochenkov. Chenko. Hong Lu is the uh, umpire for this one. We used to have met nine times before. It's uh, Grieber who leads the head to head by six matches to three. And uh, Grieber has won their last two matches but they haven't played each other since 2014 and both of those matches in 2014 were pretty tight we've won in four games in the Slovakia Open and five games in the Slovenia Open so this one could be a little closer than many expect it to be only two world ranking places separate the two Grieber ranked at fifth in the world whereas Marshall is seventh Grieber with a career high of third Marshall with a career high of second she achieved at last in October 2011. That's a bit of a team talk going on then, on the Polish side of things. Germany, who of course are powerhouses in the para table tennis, past medalist lists. The uh, Federal Republic of Germany, 43 golds, 97 medals in total. And Germany uh, with 24 golds in total. Nine of those coming in the women's. And a total of 72 medals. They have always done well at the uh, para table tennis at the Paralympic Games. And Grieber will be hoping that maybe she can medal at the Paralympic Games. Missed out just uh, four years ago in London where she finished fourth. Marshall also was able to get through to the quarters in London 2012. Both of those, uh, both of these players, their only Paralympic Games experience prior to this one came in London. But uh, Marshall is a uh, former world champion, won the world title in singles in Class Six back in 2010. And also picked up a bronze in the team event net as well. Just to uh, go over the, the class system for this one. This is a class six matchup. It's severe impairments of legs and arms. Remember the top two from each group go through. So this very much is a, a must win for Marcel. And not only is it a must win, she's got to win convincingly if she is to somehow find a, a way through the knockout phase after losing by three games to love because if each player ends up with one win one loss to their name then it goes back on to games ratio and so considering Marshall can only end up with three game wins and three game losses it makes it tricky for her to get through group B there's only uh, six athletes in total in the women's singles class six group A has three and group B has three players in it so uh, also important to try and top the group, which Grevet and Grieber will want to do. What a uh, silver medal at the World Championships herself did Grieber in Beijing in 2014. Also won a silver in the team event of the same competition. In terms of how she's played in 2016, won bronze at the Slovenian Open. Marshall uh, also has picked up a bronze medal uh, this year. She won bronze at the China Open. But at uh, the end of last year, Grieber able to pick up a gold in the Bay Ruth Open. So she'd have a, a fair amount of confidence. And after that performance 
against uh, Litovchenko. She should be feeling pretty happy with herself and pretty confident that she can make it through to the knockout phase. Although if she was to lose today by three games to love, it would be uh, Marshall who would go through. But if she was able to pick up a couple of games, that would guarantee her progression into the knockout phase and into the semi-finals. So we are ready for this uh, Group B encounter. And the last match in Group B, it's Grebit to get us underway first. Taking on uh, Katarina's yet Marshall. Remember Grebit already has one win to her name in the group. But they've had some close matches in the past, these two, so... This one may well be a fiercely fought contest. Grebbett began in uh, 2000 at the age of 13, playing the sport. And she was inspired by her friends to play. She hasn't really looked back since then. Uh, desperate, though, to try and medal here at the Rio Paralympics. And if she does top the group, then she'll be feeling uh, pretty confident of doing so. First place needs second place in Group A. But she's made a slow start here. Marshall. Moving up by five points to two. Yep. Of course, that is uh, Greber's ambition to win a medal here in Rio. Uh, the most memorable moment, she says, is winning the silver medal at the uh, Para Table Tennis World Championships in Beijing. Well, that's a huge forehand. Wonderful angle from the German. She liked that one. Just angled the bat. He's got the angle just right. And this time going up the line and having the same effect. Putting the whole body behind that one. There's been an issue with this really throughout the, the game so far. In terms of the umpires have been very strict on how high the ball toss has been. And Marshall just being told it needs to be a little higher. It's got to be six inches up in the air. A real battle this first game. Six points apiece then. Oh, what a serve. Touching the edge of the table. That's a clean ace for Greber. Two big forehands, and the forehand has looked very good in this first game for the 28-year-old. Open the space, and then hits into the space with the forehand up the line. Yeah. 
Well, after a really good start for Marshall, Greber has got better and better as this contest has gone on. And she now has three game points. Another monstrous forehand. And remember, one game is probably enough to secure her passage into the knockout phase. Alive though in this game, Marshall. Weber for once missing with the forehand. And there is the game. Greber within touching distance now of securing her passage into the semi finals. Started a little slowly, but the forehand was firing throughout. And it is the world number five who takes the first game of this encounter by 11 points to eight. Momentum firmly against Marshall. The way that she lost that opening game after making such a good start. It was uh, Greber who played the majority of the positive table tennis as well. She's got to find a way to somehow neutralise that forehand. Delicately manoeuvring the ball around the table. And shake of the head from Greber. And again, it's Marshall who has made the better start to the game and extending her lead to three points. Whoever who began playing the sport in 1994, that's just actually Marshall who began playing the sport in 1994, aged nine. So the reason. Uh, it's because her family were involved in the sports, so she was uh, kind of destined to have a sporting life. That's a big forehand from the pole. He's done well just to press the reset button. So if you grab it, finish that first game so strongly I would have thought all the momentum was with the German but it's been a fine reaction from the pole and another big forehand and she's got an eight point to two lead who, uh, remember, dropped the one game and a win over Litovchenko. Better side spin on the ball there as well from the German. Just span it away from Marshall. Oh, the net 
record, just uh, meaning that Greva just had to adjust there on the back end. Marshall taking full advantage though of the fortune. Really another huge forehand up the line. Six game points, takes it on the first. And that forehand rather sums up how that game went for Marshall. Massive forehand winner, Just angling it away from Greber. And we are tied at one game apiece. First game of the Rio Paralympics that Marshall has been able to win. Keeps herself alive in the competition. Takes the second game by 11 points to four. We talked about how well Marshall reset herself after losing the first game. Now it's the turn of Grebert to see if she can just put that previous game behind her. It was outplayed thoroughly in it. And, uh, uh, the last couple of meetings have been tight between these two. Marshall has actually beaten Grebert on three occasions before out of their nine previous meetings. Only two world ranking places separate the two of them. So they know each other's games pretty well. Able to really get that forehand into play too often in that second game, Greber. Starting this game very well. It's been a topsy-turvy encounter, hasn't it? Flying one way, then the other. Almost uh, as if each game is... Once it's over, it's a new start, isn't it? And Reber, after being outplayed in the second game, has made a good start to this third game. Although unable to connect with that backhand. of positive reactions after the points from Grebert. There's plenty of topspin on the ball there. Too hot to handle for Marshall. Marshall are refusing to go away in this game. 4-1 down, now back to 5-4. Foul serve called against Grebert. They have been very strict, the umpires. 
on the service rule in terms of throwing it up six inches. That one just catching the table. Yeah! I, have to say I like the reaction from Greber. Didn't argue for too long. And uh, got the call against the foul serve. Focused and determined once more. Just a reminder, if she is able to win this game, she secures her passage through to the knockout phase. Marshall, it would mean, couldn't get there. At the moment, as things stand, the best Marshall can hope for is to win this one 3-1, which would mean she would finish with a game's ratio of four wins, four losses. In fact, three wins, three losses. I think by my mathematics she is already out, Marshall. I'll try and work on that and let you know. Either way, right now she's just focusing on every point. Taking it ball by ball. And she's done terrifically well to work herself back to level pegging in this third game. Momentum with the pole. A quality serve. Using the backhand, it was quick, and too quick for Marshall. And the rally had a bit of everything. It's Griebit who is able to win it, though. And the German gives herself two game points. Relentless from Marshall. Saves the first game point. But doesn't save the second. It's Grieber who takes it. And moves up by two games to one. She's a game away from securing two wins out of two in Group B which would mean she would top the group and face the athlete who finished second in Group A, which could be vital. She has assured that she will move through to the semi-finals no matter what, but wants the win here, no doubt about that. Takes the third game by 11 points to nine. So there's a, a lot to be said by the coaches after the last game to both players. And again, we're seeing a good response here from Marshall, showing some real spirit and character. She'll be well aware that her uh, Rio Paralympic Games in the singles is over after this match, no matter what happens, whether she can turn it around. But goes up three love in this game.
And now up for love. Forehand has been a little hit and miss for Grieber. Moving it from side to side with the table. Nice point construction from the 28-year-old. Winner from Marshall. No real reaction from the pole. Working her way back into this fourth game, Grieber. Again, working Marshall from side to side, using every area of the table. And timeout called by the Polish coach. A very, very quick conversation with her coach. Straight back out and ready to go again. But didn't fancy talking for too long either. Really knowing her game plan. Did well. That was a fine serve from Grieber. Marshall able to return it deep, and again that cross-court forehand is serving her terrifically well. It's a fantastic rally. It's tough for Grieber to read where Marshall is going with the forehand. Nice disguise on it. Don't know whether she's going to use the diagonal or go up the line. And there's the down the line. You couldn't have hit that any sweeter. A really healthy lead nap now. Nine points to four. Lots of noise in this arena. Eight other tables in action as these, uh, I should say, seven other tables in action. Not always easy for the players to keep their concentration, but Grieba certainly kept her concentration on this forehand. a little tight just didn't get the bat speed to brush over the ball to generate enough topspin on it yeah! 
It's 9 all. Griba celebrating it like she scored a goal in the World Cup of football. Determined character. Two points away now from securing a second win, though. Make that one point away. Another huge strike from Griba. And she's turned this fourth game around. Playing with such passion. Match point. Oh, it was a brilliant match point as well. Grieber will top Group B. Disappointment for Marshall. She is out of the singles competition with two losses to her name. But Grieber with a fine performance once more and for the second match running. Wins in four games by three games to one. Had to work for it against the world number seven. But it's Grieber who tops Group B. She has defeated her Polish opponent. 11-8, 4-11, 11-9, And we'll play whoever is runner-up of Group A in the semi-finals. You can understand the uh, delight on the face of Grieber. As I say, she's uh, talked about winning a medal here being an ambition of hers, and she's put herself into a very good position to do so. Tops Group B after that win in.